Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Let's change to 14 days for today's Spur video. So day 10 is going to take us to around the 26th of November. Uh, we'll be able to extend beyond that with it. So GFS and ECM on some of those of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, which gets us well into December now, of course. I shall get on that for you very shortly. Just say that the first video release was our 7 a.m. Uh, upload. We've also released the ECM WF 30 day uh, look at as well. So check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. Right, let's start looking at the data then. We're going to begin with the central temperature. The CT is currently standing at 9.3, uh, which is getting on for 2 degrees above average. That keeps on going up, doesn't it? Around 1.8 degrees above average. That's provisional to yesterday, to the 15th of uh, November. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles over the next couple of weeks. Looking at Northampton again today, local to me, so red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Northampton. We're starting off pretty close to average at the moment. We'll go a little bit cooler actually in the next 24 hours. I made a big rise in temperature coming for Thursday, Friday into Saturday before we get a plunge in the temperature. A bit of a plummet in the temperature takes place late in the weekend and through the start of next week. And then for the rest of November and into December, we're generally below average. We generally have below average temperatures then right way through to uh, to, to the to the change of the month. Um, you know, at times you might pick up a little bit, just there's a little bit of a tick up. I suspect that's an area of low pressure pushing through. But uh, overall, that does look, that does look, you know, solidly uh, cooler than average, cold and average, really uh, right way through towards uh, month's end and in start of December. Precipitation-wise, going to be loads of dry weather over the next few days, so it gradually gets more unsettled through the closing days of November and into the beginning of December. Of course, as it's getting colder, we do have to factor in that some of those precipitation spikes could be delivering snow. In fact, should we take a look at the snow row, see how that's looking? So, uh, yeah, there's a few of those on some members uh, forecasting some snow there, particularly around, let's say, the 27th, 28th of November, that period just there might deliver uh, a little bit of the snow. What about in Birmingham? So a little bit more, uh, risk of a little bit more actually for Birmingham. Higher elevation, of course, compared to Northampton. So uh, that partic that's a particularly big spike <laughs> just there, uh, of course. That obviously is an outlier, but if it did come off, it would be an absolute dumping of snow. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, there is a chance of a little bit of wintry weather coming up through the last days of uh, November, quite clearly detail on that, of course, is to be determined. Right, temperature anomalies from the 16th, 24th of November, going to be uh, milder than average, any change to, uh, to cold weather is too far away to make any difference to the anomaly uh, uh, forecast at the moment. And precipitation anomalies from the 16th, 24th of November, going to be drier than average, particularly for Ireland, England, and Wales. The latest wind flow map from EarthNollSchool.net shows that uh, we're drawing in west or southwest winds today. And so uh, after a sort of slightly cooler sort of uh, weekend and early start to this week, it is getting milder once more. This is how the UK at Euro is looking for midnight on Friday. High pressure will be to our south, low pressure to the north. I'll be dragging up uh, quite a mile or even relatively warm west to southwest wind. Heading on into Saturday and Sunday, the high pressure then pulls out into the Atlantic. This is the start of a change to something colder. There'll be a cold front just there at midnight on uh, Sunday. It'll be probably quite weak, but it will introduce the first push of cooler air from the north. So as we get through into uh, midnight on Monday, we are all then in a much cooler or colder north or northeasterly uh, wind. I have not got 168 hour chart up because I'm not used to that still. Uh, and that's how long as we get to 168 hours a week away midnight on Tuesday. And high pressure that probably produce uh, overnight frost. Um, but it does also have that high pressure starting to reach towards Greenland. And so so what's going to happen is that we're going to get our first sort of northerly, which is going to be over the weekend, Saturday through to Sunday. That one's not particularly cold, but it will lower the temperature a lot. Then through the middle of the latter part of next week, if this high pressure pushes up to Greenland, we might get a second northerly. And that second northerly could be, you know, really properly cold and, and introduce genuinely uh, wintry weather, potentially, depending on how long that northerly lasts. 
Right, so uh, that's as far as we get to with the uh, UK Met uh, Euro. This is how the GFS Midnight Run uh, was looking. High pressure south, low pressure north on Friday. Looks pretty mild, doesn't it? That carries on into Saturday. But by Sunday, high pressure, or through Saturday into Sunday, high pressure is pulling out to our west. Down comes that burst northerly, and again, that will be introducing significantly cold air. Then the high pressure sort of sits around the country early next week. It will be a lot colder with that rich of high pressure. Overnight frost is distinctly possible. Notice the high is trying to reach towards Greenland on uh, Tuesday and that high pressure then goes further northwards to become a proper Greenland blocking feature through the middle part of the week. So we've got genuine sort of northern blocking uh, going on around Greenland. This area of low pressure is a little bit of a complicated fact. That's holding up the uh, coldest of the northerly uh, getting in, and that's bringing outbreaks of uh, rain, and uh, probably quite unsettled weather. That low pressure eventually slips away towards Biscay by the end of next week, and then we do start to pull in that much colder north northeasterly. By the weekend, so we're just beyond day 10 now, by the weekend of 27th, 28th of November, we're looking potentially quite wintry. Low pressure is around the country. You've got high pressure blocking around Green Iceland, bringing in the wind from like a northeasterly or east direction. It's particularly cold in more northern areas. But I think even in the south, that cold air does eventually push through. And of course, these areas of low pressure marking the boundary uh, will be producing significant amounts of precipitation, some of that rain, some of that possibly snow. Um, so detail on all of that is to be firmed up on. Uh, as we move on beyond that, it starts to go a little bit milder though. As we get into the beginning of December, we begin, we begin to lose the blocking and push the wind back up from the southwest. So it is only a temporary intro, intro, introduction uh, of, uh, of significantly colder weather. And then we're back into milder conditions by the beginning of December. GFS 6Z is looking like this. Uh, very latest GFS run as we're recording this video. Shows high pressure from south, low pressure from north. Again, we bring in that very mild west or southwest wind. The high pressure falls out to our west. Uh, by Sunday, down comes the northerly wind. And so, yes, it will be turning cooler, colder over the weekend. High pressure and ridges back in over the country early next week. So mainly dry, but it will be cold in that area of high pressure. And uh, we can expect significant overnight frost. And the high pressure sort of pushes up to Greenland. Very significant Greenland blocking feature here uh, being signaled by the GFS output today. Going up to 100 uh, 1,055 millibars, I should say. That is really significant Greenland blocking. Low pressure to the north of Scotland is trying to pull in much colder air uh, from the north. So as we get through to the weekend of the 27th, 20, uh, 28th of November, we've got proper Greenland blocking in place. But the low pressure just doesn't go far enough south. I'm not sure why that is, because the jet stream is actually quite a long way south as well but the low pressure just sort of sits around the country obviously it's quite cool but it's not we're not putting in like the really cold air from the north uh with the 6z if we go back to the gfs ensembles though let's have a look at the upper air temperatures um we can see that the 6z was operation was just about the warmest ensemble member through this period or certainly one of the warmest anyway so uh so you know I would suggest it most like that low pressure will slip away to the south and we will pull in those cold winds from the north and from the northeast. By the time we get through to the end of the six uh, looking like that, still pretty cold, it has to be said. Winds in from the north and from the northeast and low pressure is to our south. Again, there could be a risk of some uh, snow uh, and uh, also some outbreaks of rain with that as well so getting colder getting more block but but how far we go with this you know is to be determined as you'd expect given that we're talking about the weather um next week so uh so you know it's a long way off it's a complicated pattern there's a lot to sort out with this um that's how the gm is talking if you enjoyed the video by the way please smash the like button make sure you sub to the channel thank you so much for doing that and drop a comment let us know about this and all of our videos thank you so much Right, the GM showing on Friday, high pressure will be over France. Low pressure is away to our northwest winds coming in from a mild or a very mild southwest direction. We get this first introduction of northerly to northeasterly winds uh, as we go through to, uh, to through, through the weekend. So by Sunday, we are pulling in this cooler air, colder air from the north. Um, then the high pressure sort of sits around the country, uh, attempting to ridge up towards uh, green. And let's see what happens with that. So, uh, again, we're struggling to reach that high pressure properly up to Greenland, though. 
Uh, so this is the problem. This area of low pressure just here looks very innocuous, doesn't it? Not much of a low, to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me once again. But that low is stopping the ridge from forming properly uh, up towards Greenland. So the GM, uh, you know, is, is stopping that high pressure reaching up. And instead, the high pressure slips to our south, beats up, drop, and milder, subduing. So we don't really get a lot colder, actually, with the uh, GM, except over the weekend. The weekend does get colder from, you know, the initial uh, northerly number one. Um, so it does get colder over the weekend, but we don't get, like, the real push of proper north northeast is through the middle and second half of next week with the GM because it does not ridge the high pressure up to Greenland. So um, that, again, is, uh, is a little bit of a problem for anyone who wants cold weather. East Yankee Earth is going to be like this. So, again, high pressure east to our south, low pressure north on Friday. Out into the weekend, we start to pull in our first push of northern wind. So that is assured. I think the first northerly over weekend is assured and that will drop the temperature so what happens through the course of next week that's uh you know causing problems this is tuesday high pressure reaching in across the country will still be relatively cold though from the first northern then the high pressure pulling back out into the into the atlantic through the middle of next week starts to move up towards greenland later next week so we've got a proper greenland block setting up at the end of next week high pressure from the Atlantic going up to Greenham. We do have this trough of low pressure just here. If that plunges southwards, that will start to pull in cold air from the north. That's day 10, so we can't go any further than that. So is that low pressure going to plumb it south and pull the cold winds in from the north or from the northeast by the Greenham block? Or will that low pressure just become stuck over the country, similar to like the Jeff S6 said? Remains to be seen, but it's a complicated pattern. There's a lot of sorting out to be done, but we definitely Definitely are seeing hints of green and blocking here and potential for significantly colder weather by the, uh, you know, by the final week of November. Precipitation wise, you look like that. So uh, going to be a lot of dry weather in the south over the next few days. Will be some showery bursts up in the north. This is the cold front dropping southwards over weekend. That's introducing the first northerly. And that one is, is assured, but it's not desperately cold. But it is cold enough to bring wintry showers into northern and northeastern areas. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather, it must be said, through the weekend and into early next week. And then later next week, again, in comes this area of low pressure. That's been outbreaks of rain around day 10. Notice how the showers turn increasingly to snow. Um, behind that band of rain, that's a cold front, of course, and uh, so that, there's the cold front just there. And then w this is where the properly cold, the really cold Arctic air is digging in through here. And that's why all of the showers then, or most of them, are turning increasingly to snow. Do we push that proper cold air through, or does, does low pressure get stuck over top of the country? That's all to be revealed. Right, BC reaction on the table. Then the East Summer Summer Day Board Day 10. And against to be 26. Of November, 14 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure in the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. Low pressure is over to the South Coast. I think that's introducing much colder air from the north and from the northeast. We have nine, including the control and the operation run again with Middle Atlantic Ridge up towards Greenland. And then the low pressure is sort of over, but straight to the west of the country. So the coldest of the air is like through Hinyar. Um, but of course, if we drop this uh, trough southwards, then we'll pull wind in from the northeast. So that's that's up to that point, it's delayed the cold already getting in, but it might go in a cold direction. Uh, we have nine just here, but I hope you're all following this, everyone. It's a very complicated pattern. We have nine just here with mid Atlantic ridging up towards Greenland, low pressure to our east and south. Again, that looks like it should be cold and wintry, bringing wind from the north northeast. We have seven with a mid Atlantic ridge and low pressure to our east. Winds will be coming in from a north or northeast direction. Uh, with that one, so that's probably quite cold, but might be modified a little bit from uh, winds from the Atlantic. We have six, again, high pressure reaching in from the west, low pressure is over Scandinavia. That's a little bit milder there, we've got more of an Atlantic influence with that one. And then we've got to another six just here again, with high pressure to our west, low pressure to our east, and uh, so that looks like it should be quite cold, really, doesn't it? Probably bringing the wind from a northeast direction. Two minutes time. These are the options that we're going to have. This will be for the first day of November. No, first day of December. What am I talking about? Um, beginning of a new month. Last month of the year, of course. Wow. Uh, just a just a 
few weeks for Christmas. So, uh, Mid Atlantic Ridge up towards Greenland with 18 members of the East Summer Summers there. Low pressure to the east, winds will be in from the north or northeast direction. That looks like it's still cold and wintry, uh, really, doesn't it? 18 with high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic, low pressure to our east and south, but probably starting to try and get milder, turning wind into west. And then 15 just here, looking quite a bit milder. High pressure to our west southwest, and so winds are back in from off the Atlantic. We might still keep it cold even into the beginning of December, but that is to be revealed, of course. CFSV2 finally needs a 500 millibar height to break down to wheat peers. The first wheat period takes from 16th to 22nd of November. The coming week is dominated by high pressure, lots of dry weather, and we know by weekend is it is going to start to get a bit colder. Week uh, two will be the 23rd. 29th of November, with high pressure away to our northwest, and around the high will probably bring in the wind from a cold north to northeast direction. So that does look potentially really quite cold indeed. Um, we have uh, week three, which is the 30th of November, 6th of December. High pressure back in over top of the country again. Probably quite a cold ridge though with that. I think it could be bringing in the wind from more of an easterly direction there. Certainly not. A mild position for the ridge. And then week four is the 7th to the 13th of December. High pressure and just to our west southwest, low pressure to the north. And winds reverting to a little bit more of a milder westerly then. So I think it, we do turn milder as we go into the second week of December. But, um, but late November and early December does have cold potential there for CFS today. And we're done. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the special like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't uh, forget to your friends and family to subscribe as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. If you sub, you're going to be able to see future weather content. And why wouldn't you? Uh, what, why would you not want to do that? And, uh, and yeah, you'll be able to see future future 10 to 14 days, uh, future winter updates, future Christmas updates. Um, and more, live streams galore, you know, uh, so give us a sub, thank you so much, we need to put on, a, I think we need to put on around um, 70 to 65 subscribers now, to get ourselves to 12.6k, so the subs are moving quite quickly, thank you so much for doing that, the ultimate target is 13,000 subscribers, if we can get that, get to um, 13k, I think it's going to be a very tall order to do that, I think it would be a big ask, but if we could get to 13k, by Christmas, we'll give away an Amazon voucher. How does that sound? Um, do a bit of Christmas shopping with an Amazon voucher, courtesy of Gals Webbies. But we're going to get to 13k first. I think we probably, I think 13k will probably be more January. But we shall see. We shall see how it all works out. Right, that's it for 10 to 14 days. Now, I thought what I might do this evening is just do a very quick 12Z roundup. So, um, just very quickly look at look at 12Z uh, model runs. None of the other stuff, including today's 10 to 14 days. So, just purely model uh, data for the 12Z and uh, see how they're looking with this uh, green and blocking feature uh, next week, so I, that might be coming up on the channel, say around 7.30, um, just a quick 10 minute 12Z roundup, so look out for that, otherwise tomorrow uh, we're going to have, we've got coming tomorrow, it's Wednesday, so that means we've got 7am forecast, it means we've got the USA forecast as well for you tomorrow, we've got a 10 to 14 day and I think we've got another Christmas update penciled in tomorrow as well, so yeah, that'll be tomorrow evening I suppose. Right, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's it for this one. We'll probably be back later on with a 12Z roundup, very quick 12Z roundup. Um, but uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.